attention passengers, the sound security checkpoint is the primary checkpoint for passengers. TSA free check passengers must use the North Security Checkpoint. Well, I just made it through security. It's probably one of the longer security lines I've been in for sure. My gate's over here. Our gate's over here. Right now it says Cancun, which is close to where we're going, but not quite. So, I've got in search of some food until it turns into Belize plane. There used to be like a sign that said Belize. I don't see it. Oh well. Probably COVID. Got it. A Commonwealth realm formerly known as British Honduras believes the nation has been independent only since 1981. It is one of the least populated and least densely populated countries in the world. It is also a true outlier in Latin America, where it is one of the few countries where English is the primary language. Featuring Mayan ruins, jungles, pristine beaches, small islands, keys, and coral reefs, Belize has become an ecotourism hotspot, boasting the second longest barrier reef in the world. With easy accessibility from many a North American city, Belize is turning into a destination of the future. Join me and let's check it out before it becomes overrun by tourism. All right, well, it's quite the scene here at the airport. If you get here, definitely don't book your ground transportation or any connecting flights like an hour. You need two hours because the line takes forever because of COVID protocols. And it's just, it is what it is. But I found my guy holding my sign with my name on it. But I'm, I mean, I missed it by a lot. So they're coming back. Cool. Yes, yes. This used to be the office here. Now it's all empty or something. I don't know what's going on with that. But you get your ticket back there. They check your bag for you if you're doing that. I'm not. You just hang out here and wait for the boat, which I missed twice now. <laughs> but it's all good. There's a terminal. Love it. Upon further review, it's open. I was just looking at, I don't know, something this close. But yeah, I mean, honestly, if it's not high season, you can literally just kind of show up. I missed my boat today. I was supposed to be on the three o'clock and getting on the 4.30. Just gotta be here by 5.30 is the last one. Last time I missed it too, and it wasn't that big of a deal. So bear that in mind, do not stress out. Very chill, very chill.
we made it to San Pedro. Time to find our Airbnb. This place is pretty cool. It's, reminds me of Key Calker, but more built up. Still seems pretty mellow. No, I'm good, man. Thank you. Well, this is the room for the next day. The best part is the bathroom. Let's be honest. Private bathroom is the way to go. Okay, let's see what the town looks like before it gets completely dark. I love that there's a million golf carts here already. It's making me really happy. Well, let's go see what there is before the sun goes down. They say the beach is this way. So let's find it. And then we'll put on some other clothes maybe. You know what I need is food. That McDonald's breakfast was good, but it did not hold me through the entire day. Random guy seeks beach, finds it, doesn't know what to do next. You know, the interesting part about San Pedro is I don't know anything about it. I just know it's where all the tourists go. And I can kind of see why. Wow, it goes really far up there. Go around this way instead. Try and find an ATM. Wow, how beautiful! Some nice houses here. Belize is a great country to visit because it's good at what it is. You want it to be Caribbean and beachy? It's not so much beachy, but. Caribbean and great. So that means that there is food this way because I just saw two backpackers carrying food. Here's where we are. Out, although it looks the same as the street light in this shot. That breeze feels really good. I love dogs, but I'm not a random dog petter. It's not my vibe. So the light was fading fast when we got here. Because we missed our boat at 3. And we got here at 
430 instead, which, but we got the 430 boat, which means we get here at 6, and the sun sets super early in the Caribbean. At this point, I'm going to be honest with you, I was exhausted, I wasn't having any luck finding food, and I felt like it was high time to head home. However, on the way home, I met a random dude, and he had some questions for me. What's up, big man? How you doing? Yeah. Respect, I'm no bad guy. Not no, man. you're good. Yeah. Hey, just came. Can I be honest with you, man? Yeah. I'm from the, I'm from the mainland, right? Uh -huh. I got messed up and shit. Oh shit. I, I, I came over here yesterday. I got a little job and stuff. Um, I don't do drugs or anything, man. I got my little daughter and my son with me. Yeah. A lady helps me to pay a little room for us to stay. I'm not short much. I'm only short like fifteen dollars US. I think I have a ton of cash. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I'm only short like fifteen or twenty dollars US. I'll give you what I can't give you. Thanks. We're just trying to get a place to stay because I got a job. We don't have um, a place to stay or anything like that, right? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, Where are you I, from? I'm Punta Gorda. It's oh, the last district. That's almost in Guatemala, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, what happened, a lady gave us this and she gave us a car thing for my kids, right? So okay. I'm just trying to like, you know, pay the room so we can have a place to stay. And I really, have, I'm not a thief or anything like that. You're giving me a good vibe, dude. You're, nice. you're, you know what? I wish I had literally more cash than this. It's only four Belize, but it's closer. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it's okay, man. Let's see. Thanks, man. I really appreciate the help, you know. Here. Oh, here you go. Oh, see, I thought I had a five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right. hey. Respect, Respect man. man. Right. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Thank you. You too. How you doing? I do. Good. First time, please? Second time. Oh, second time. Oh. But I didn't come to San Pedro last time, so. Oh. Okay, I it's first time here. It's first time in San Pedro. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's pretty. Nice people, right? Good vibes. Yeah. You from here? Yeah, I born here, go here. No way? Yeah. That's cool. 30, 38 years. 38 years in San Pedro? Yeah. Still love it? I still love it. Only did we change too much cultures. Okay. More people coming in, different places. The island getting more bigger. More built up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know where Denver, Colorado is? Uh, no. Okay, that's where I'm from. Oh. And dude, it is like this. It's all tourists. Oh. So when I was a kid, there was like fields and nothing, and now it's like hotels and all this stuff. It's, it's weird getting used to it, huh? Yeah, I get used to it. I, I, I think it's good. I mean, the tourists are good, right? You need them for yeah. the business and like... I work up, up north, pick up garbage. Okay. Dump trucks. Oh, that's and cool. And we go, we go in 5 o'clock in the morning. To three o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes we come out ten, eight o'clock the night. Sometimes oh, today no. I, I come out today. We gone five o'clock today. I will come out to four thirty. Really? Yeah, today. Hey. I, 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 I tell the boss. Wow, this Saturday. We go finish. I was gonna say, is it a day off today? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. We'll do one day off. No, two, three days off. Three days off. Yeah, we get Thursdays, Fridays. No, Thursday and Wednesday. You almost have to though if you're gonna be driving machinery and stuff. Yeah. That's a lot, dude. That's hard work. Yeah. That's wild. What's your name, man? Pablo. Felix. Okay, Felix. Nice to meet you, man. Same to you. Cool. I love San Pedro. Thank you. Yeah. San Pedro. Belize. Night quest for food. I see a lot of like restaurants, restaurants that I don't trust because I don't think they're like open, so. Hot dogs, spicy hot dogs with cheese and everything. I ordered them in Spanish, but I don't think the lady spoke Spanish. It doesn't matter, they're gonna be fucking good. There's only one way to find out. You gotta go eat them. And this is about the traffic level on a Saturday night in San Pedro. Decently solid. There's some action. It seems a little bit like there's less cars and more people. So this is what 
to get in Belize. You get it? A really dark video with the moon. And a tiny plastic grocery bag full of hot dogs and it's all good. Time for the big reveal. Bug spray, hot dogs, Okay.